Greetings and welcome to Spiritual Magic Journey. This is your monthly oracle card reading for the lovely sun sign of Sagittarius. Now, this month I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to do an oracle card reading with the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck for the month of March 2019. Um, I do have music playing because there's a lot of background noise. People are, it's a warm day, everyone's working outside, I've got work going on here. But I felt compelled to do an oracle card reading for you Sagittarius. But let me know in the description, uh, well, in the comments below. Whether you enjoyed this or you want to go back to a regular tarot reading for the month, for the next month. But for this month, I wanted to do something different. And I felt drawn by the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck. So I hope everyone out there is having a beautiful and blessed March. <laughs> Boy, my how time flies. Wow. Already in March, guys. Already in March. Okay, Spirit. I'm going to be drawing seven cards. So the first one is going to represent you or strength that you may have. The second one is going to be, you know, happening in your life right now for the month of March. The third one is going to be something that supports your happiness. The fourth one is going to be an obstacle, Sagittarius, or a challenge that you may need to be overcome this month or that you are overcoming. The fifth one will be well, what your angels want you to know for the month of March. The sixth will be what your guides want you to know. And the seventh will be what your heart wants you to know. And if you'd like to get your own personal reading, even an oracle reading, just everything's in the description box below. Okay. Sagittarius. What is going on with Sagittarius? We got Charity. Master Buddha for the second position. Your third position is Freya. Your fourth is Kumatia. Your fifth is Mahavatar Babashe. And your sixth will be White Eagle. And your seventh will be Saint Kamari. All right, Sagittarius looks like wonderful, beautiful cards. So, you, what is you? A gift and a strength that you have this month. So, in that position, you've got charity, prayer, and complimentation. Connect with the heavens, ask, and you shall receive. So, this month, with this representing um, you. I don't know if you've been praying, prayer, they want you to pray, meditate, ask, ask this month. This is going to be a gift for you. They want you to complimentation. Think about understanding what you're asking for. Um, sit with it because you're going to receive it. You're going to receive it. And Charity is going to make sure that you receive what you ask for, Sagittarius. I don't know if it's going to be what you, if you want more peace, more love, more bliss, more happiness, more money, more abundance in your life. This is representing you and the gift that you have this month. And it's Charity. And be sure to always pay it forth if you receive any kind of abundance. Always play it for it. Play or pay it for it. Never how you want to say it. Because it will come back to you. The universe is looking and seeing your every move. And it's going to be a reflection on what you do. So be mindful of that. So your life, what is happening in your life right now. And for this month, you've got Master Buddha. 
I love it. Increased awareness. Deep connection. Trust your inner voice. So, for this month, you got Master Buddha. This is what's going on. You're going to have increased awareness. There's going to be a deep connection. Deep connection in a spiritual way. And you're going to be trusting your inner voice. So it's going to help you guide Master Buddha, your guides, your angels, you know, ascended masters, every spirit, ancestor, you know, your whole, I call them a galactic team. It's going to be there helping you make every decision to go and to be on the path that you are meant to be on. So if you're thinking about, um, Um, what you need to be doing or if you have any choices, decisions that you need to make Master Buddha is going to be there to help you every step of the way plus your whole other team so you're going to have to trust your inner voice when you get those those um, those signs or anything like in that nature and they come in many different ways um so look for the signs trust what you're feeling trust what you're sensing trust that energy trust what you're getting you may hear a voice that's going to help and guide you so something that supports your happiness this month is you got in this position you got Freya phase and cycles I can't read that upside down there's a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. So, something that supports your happiness. This means that you're going through phases and cycles. And there's uh, some illusions that's really going to be revealed for you, Sagittarius. That's going to help you um, break away, maybe purge from things that are no longer happening. I mean, just like the moon. I love this card, Freya. Um, there's a time for purging there's a time for clearing this month it will you're going to be doing some purging you're going to be doing some clearing um, things may be ending but it's going to be for your betterment it's going to support your happiness it's going to make you feel better illusions are released and revealed so you're going to have things, like I said, you're going to be purging. Things are going to come up, illusions. Um, things are going to be revealed. Um, this breaking away. It's going to be breaking away from and crumbling of something old. Something that no longer is serving you. Something that you no longer need Sagittarius in your life. So it can make way for new. A new door. A new chapter. A new cycle. Don't you just love it? A new cycle. And you're going to be so happy. With this. Um, transformation. Of this new cycle. This new phase in your life. You're going to be so happy that maybe you walked away from something. Maybe something ended. But it's really going to support your happiness. And it's going to be for your betterment. So something that can be an obstacle or challenge for you. Or something that you need to overcome this month. you got Kumatheria. Uh I think I'm pronouncing that. Kumatoma. It's Cloak of Wisdom. It says you already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. So, this is an obstacle, a little challenge. You need to believe in yourself and trust that the messages, the signs, the little voices, the symbols, the visions, that the things that you know and everything that's coming from a divine the something that is you know higher divinity is coming to you you have to trust and believe so that you may be i don't know why that would be a challenge because some you know if you're receiving messages some people are like is that for real you know did, did i just see that or did i just hear that voice or did 
did you just tell me to use, you know, turn right or, you know, buy this book or something? So, what you need to do is, uh, Kumathea is wanting you to trust, trust that that is them above, beside you, around you, near you, behind you, sending you those messages, giving you help in the right direction, all for your higher good. But I'm seeing that you're not ch you're not trusting it. So that's something you really need to work on. Allow it to come through. Allow it. I'll allow it. Trust it. Believe it. So what do your angels want you to know? So we got Mahavatar Babaje, Soul Expansion. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. That is a wonderful card, Sagittarius. I'm so happy for you. Your angels want you to know. Mahavatar Babaje. Your collective the collective consciousness your consciousness is expanding you see how everything is connected you see what's what's going on here you see what your purpose is you see the things that you need to do your angels are wanting you to know this they're wanting to connect with you you may already be connecting but they want you to know that you're on the right path to keep moving forward and that the consciousness you see it you see the whole connection you see it now you see that we're all connected the trees the rocks the dirt the grass everything they want you to know that and you may be sensing that and feeling that that soul expansion, the knowledge, maybe getting downloads, seeing all the symbols and synchronicities and all that. That is awesome. Totally awesome. With Mahavata Babaje. Okay, what do your guides want you to know? So you've got a guide. White Eagle. In this position. Ancestor Spirit. I love it. Connect with your lineage, a family wound. Or a pattern can be healed now. So, your guides want you to know this is a time where you've got your ancestors behind you, Sagittarius. Um, there may be some Native American lineage there. It dates way, 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 way back. They want you to connect. They want you to um, maybe dig up on some of your lineage. You may find out that there is Native American lineage. It may take you on a wild journey. Um, a good one. You may find out things you didn't know. And also with um, some healing now. You can ask your ancestors to help you with some healing. There may be a family wound. There may be a wound be between you and someone else. Or you may just have one. You know, within your heart or anything. Or there may be a pattern that you want to break. Or a cycle that you want to break. And the ancestors are saying, call on us and we'll help you. Call on your ancestors that have transitioned. Call on your ancient, ancient ancestors. We have so many ancestors. That <laughs> it is amazing. This is what your guides want you to know. So there may be some Native American lineage. Um, there with you Sagittarius look for that now in, this is what your heart wants to know in that position you've got Sanut, Sanut or Sanat Kamari light activation shine your light your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear we all have that some people call it a light stick within us and your heart is activating. You may feel that activation. I mean, we're all, the collective consciousness is just really expanding this year. And we got waves of energy that's coming in. Your light activation may be 
I think everything's changing down to the cellular molecules in our body is changing. So you may feel that. It's telling you to shine that light. That means open up your heart and let that light stick. Just imagine you've got a light stick that goes in the center of you. Everyone has one. If you're human, if you have a soul, you have one. Um, and your heart wants you to know to use that and shine that and let that radiate over everything and that will outweigh all the obstacles that are hindering you and you may have some internal guidance that light stick will guide you through the darkness that light stick will guide you it's an internal guidance stick. It's your GPS for this month. Your heart wants you to know that. It's connected with your heart. So, do the light activation with your stick. Just imagine it getting bigger and brighter. Imagine your heart, too, getting bigger and brighter. Open up that heart chakra. And letting that just guide you through the month of March. That's what your heart wants you to know in this position. Snate Kamari light activation. So your light activation is growing stronger. Stronger for the month of March. Your heart is opening more. You may want to do more Sagittarius. More um, take up some type of of um, spiritual or maybe do a mantra if you need opening up um, look up mantras and maybe do one that helps you um, open that do that light activation your heart wants you to know that so it's telling me that your heart is ready to be open it's time for you to make it big and since the energy so you can give and receive love get that flowing of love vibration that frequency flowing through you so that is totally awesome Sagittarius I'm going to leave it with that guys let me know if you enjoy um, having an oracle reading for the month of March and if you'd like to see another one in April I hope this helps you in your journey through life Blessings, my friends, and namaste.